Welcome back to another episode. A couple of positions that I want to fill was obviously our back line, but unfortunately, I just don't see any that are really jumping out for us. But one position I do want to fill is the goalkeeper, keeper, and Restus does look like potentially could be an option. He's 18, and I think, you know what, let's bite the bullet. Let's see if we can get him here before we do a full scout. Let's see if we can secure him. I'd love to do a bit of a player swap as well. Been, we've got some guys here that we definitely want to move on. Let's see if we can do potentially 3 million with Fleck. 16. Ouch. Let's counter that because we're definitely not going to be able to do that. That might just take him completely out of what we can we can afford on that one. You know what? I'm willing to go four with Rankin Costello. Let's see if that gets over the line. I'm going to assess it, but highly doubtful. Another guy that we'd love to pick up. I wanted to pick him up early. I think, you know what? Just adding some experience from the Premier League could be what we need uh, in the middle of the field. So we're going to go Deli Ali once again. But this time, going for a bit of a player swap. We're going to try and get Fleck again. It'd be great if we could secure it with that. They want Buckley as well. That's going to be a no deal. Remove the sale clause. Tronstad. Instead, 5.2, ouch, that's more than what I wanted to pay, 3.9, you know what, let's do it, let's just add that experience in the mid middle, at the moment we've got Semi playing out of his skin, but he needs some support, it's probably been the thing that we've been lacking is a bit of polish in the middle of the field, Buckley's been playing great, but... I think if we can add some Premier League experience, this could be exactly what the what the club needs. Pretty cool. Yes, we'll accept that. Gonna sign you for four years. Release clause. You know what? Someone comes in with ten million. I'm fine with that. Now the big one. I think that should be fine. 31,000. We'll do 320. Don't get too cocky there. There we go. Save 70k on that one. And there we have it. Deli Ali has joined the team. A fantastic sign-in. I think he's just going to be the Premier League talent and experience that we need. Captain greeting him at the door with the with the coach and assistant. And there we are, number 14. The new man in Blackburn, Rovers. Welcome to Ewood Park. And we're going to obviously start him straight away and see what he can do in the middle of the field. 3.9, obviously wanted a little bit less than that, but I think overall there's a million below the market value. So if he doesn't work out, we obviously will be able to cash in a little bit on the sale. And I think just adding that a little bit of extra experience in the middle is going to do us wonders. We still have 6 million in the bank, and we are scouting a couple of players leading up to this next match. So Delhi can ultimately play anywhere in the field at the moment. I think the cam position would be good. He obviously could get up there where Semi is in the... Um, sorry, the centre midfield would be good. But he can obviously get up front in the cam or striker position even. Um, we will start him in this match here against Leicester City. And that's going to be our new partnership in the middle. But before we get into that match, we do have... The monthly reports coming through, obviously we're not going to get Restus 
they want 21 million. It's well outside our cash flow bracket on that one. Ed Harper, unfortunately, not looking good for our pickup. And nothing really from Australia there. We've got Bell coming through. Still really not fitting what we need there. Same with Norton. We do have Lambert. Not bad on the, the shooting, dribbling. Could potentially be more of a, a front player than a back. Foster here. Again, great on the speed. Decent across. We do have small here as well. Defensive wise, not the best, but it's up there. I think with Lambert, I'm gonna sign him and see, you know, what what he what his growth is once we start doing a bit of development. The Costa here probably doesn't fit what we need there. Going for an attacking um, right or left back really is not really producing us anything in the youth academy. Probably wasn't the best option. So we've got a right back here. His play style is absolutely phenomenal there. He's got five out of six. I think potentially he's just not in the right position. And he could be a potential to be playing up front. So we will look to continue to develop him. But I think he's one that we're going to move across. And let's just see what, what it does for him. He's obviously terrible there on um, playing in the right back. But pinging pass, rapid technician, dead ball. Whip in the pass, quick step. I think ultimately he's he's a right back. We could potentially get a superstar here down the right hand side with Harley Lambert. So we're going to move him to the right wing and continue his development there. I think you know he's got the ability to go back in defence, but ultimately that could be where we need to be on that one. So let's develop him. And he could be our um, free kick specialist as well with the um, dead ball and the, the absolute power that he has as well. So we'll continue development on the right wing. But next up, we've got Leicester City here. Massive match. Last time we versed them, they absolutely put on a masterclass. And uh, absolutely destroyed us. We're looking to counter that this time around. And actually put in a bit of a fight. We are away from home. We've got Deli Alley getting his debut here for the club as well. And it looks like the top scorer for the league is this man. Who did score against us as well. He's got 13. So we've definitely got to watch out for number 11. All three here to Dolan. Nice little step through. And unfortunately just couldn't hold on to the ball there. The man in the middle, Deli Alley. Sliding across defensively. Green sliding up on him. Nice play there defensively. Good movement there. Ball through to Delhi. Down to Dolan. Down to Pickering. Does have semi with him. We'll chip over the top here. Oh, what a shot there by, by Semi. Almost squeezed it past the keeper. Good ball movement down the left hand side. A ball now into the box here. We've got half a stadium in the way there while we're trying to take a shot. Not what you want to see. Now Britain sliding across here. Unfortunately missed. Deja vu. What is going on? How are you meant to play a game with that? 
So we've had to change the game camera here halfway through it. So hopefully it doesn't impede on how we're playing the game. Being that learning new camera style on how to take the shots and that. But Sigurdsson's got a breakdown here. Absolute man on a mission here. What a play there by Sigurdsson. Talking about will it negatively impact us. The man just absolutely bolts down the right hand side. Straight past the keeper. What a play there. The number seven. We talked about their number seven being the top goal scorer. What about ours? Sigurdsson down the right hand side. What a play. What a start to the match there. Nice play there. Ball through from Semi. Nice ball here. Step back in. Defense all over him, but nice little ball movement there. Delhi unfortunately caught out of position. All across the middle here. Nice play there by Carter. Delhi now with the ball. Let's have a Santi. Nice little ball through. Nice ball through to Semi here. Oh. Defense coming up and Semi takes the shot, but unfortunately just couldn't get it past the keeper. Oh, almost squeezed it through, but hits the defender's legs in the end. We've got to make sure we don't allow the counter-attack here. Carter sliding across. Britton getting in there. Clearance here by Semi. Oh, you're kidding me. The leading try, uh, goal scorer. Gets his first of the game. The clearance there by Carter, unfortunately. Defence all over him there, but he just curls it past the keeper. And Pierre's has to do better than that to save those type of goals. And we unfortunately couldn't keep it out just before the half. Some good ball movement. We definitely came here to play today. Ball straight through there. Got to defend up here. too easy through but Heim nice play cuts it off Sigurdsson nice play cuts it there there's going to be a throw in oh clearance there by Carter And Dolan unfortunately couldn't find him with the pass. And Picker in now with the ball. And we're going to bring on Pazlik on the left. Here. He has been playing right when he's had a couple of games with us. But we're going to bring him on the left to see how he goes. Nice ball movement changes here. And unfortunately Semi just couldn't get it down. Through to Asante. That was great ball movement. A little clearance here, Santi down to semi. Oh, 
Oh, what a play. The ball behind Sigerson. He calms it down. Gets it to Asante. And the captain. Gets us our lead here. All into the middle. Defender about to crash down on him. This is the match we wanted. Great first match as well by Delhi. Maybe it is that experience in the middle that we've been talking about. That's what we were desperately needing. Britain's been beat here. Carter's going to have to slide across. He does. Nice play there by Carter. All out to Sigerson. Long ball through to Asante, but unfortunate. Not on point. Ball through to Heim. Again, we're nervous there with the clearance where it needs to be. Acuna, nice defensive play. And that's going to be it for Deli Alley. Great first match. We've got the 2-1 lead at the moment. Oh, are you kidding me? And the class of Leicester City. Tied all up here. Dakar with the header from almost outside the box. Yes, it's exactly how I look at the moment. All through to picker in here. And just couldn't couldn't get it into the box there where we needed it to be. Long ball here. Ball through down to Bacuna. And that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we do not get the win after a phenomenal performance. But we do walk away with the one point. 59-41 split on possession. And our man of the match, Sigerson and Semi. Prize money here. We pick up 95k. Not bad. That is for the FA Cup advancement. But next up, we got West, West Brom. That is going to be the match here. But before we do that, we do have some interesting offers coming through here. The deal here has, unfortunately, sorry, has gone through. 1.9 million. Let's get that on the board. 1.5 here for Hedges, which we're going to accept. And West Brom is looking for Pierre, who's been our goalkeeper. But I just don't think it's time for us to move him on. Buckley wants to play. See why he does, because he has been great for us. But for now, we've got to give Delhi some game opportunity. Actually might look at... Acuna's been playing well. Great defense. You know what? Let's set him up as a quick sub. And we will sub on Buckley. So we will sub on Buckley um, for Deli Alley uh, to give him some game time. But we are going to go with the new signing to start the match. And the man here, Brendan Asante, has been a great signing for us. So here we are. Camera angle back to the normal one after, I don't know what happened in the last one where we had half the stadium in there. Delhi with a poor pass through there. K 
Carter coming up, unfortunately. Johnson with the ball. Britton comes up. Ball into the middle. And Pierce with the save. Almost got caught out there with the header. Last time we beat versus uh, West Brom, they did beat us. And again, they almost secured a goal there. Sigurdsson running it out here. He does have a defender all over him. Gonna settle it down here. Ball through to Semi. Almost gets it there. I don't think this was the camera angle we had last time. What a play there by Sigerson. And what a goal there by Semi. I was just thinking the camera angle was looking a little bit different than the style that we've been using. But tap on there by Asante. Sigerson straight through. And straight past the keeper. Nice play there. And we get up 1-0 at the moment in the first half. Blackburn Rovers goal. Number eight, Sammy Sismatix. Missed opportunity there on defence. Delhi comes up, puts a bit of pressure on. Ball goes wide left. Back into the middle here. We'll make sure we don't chase too much because we'll get tired legs. We've got Asante versus his old team. Love for him to get a goal here. He's been a great buy for us. Oh, fortunately there. Delhi just couldn't control the ball through there. And Pickering coming back defensively. Ball into the middle here. Out to Sigerson. Ball through to Asante. Oh. Tried to hit it with power, potentially should have passed it, but would have loved for Asante to get a goal here against his former club. Big long pass there, but it's going to go out with 35 minutes in. Ball through here to Heim. Down to Delhi. Long ball through to Semi. Great long ball. What a ball there by Delhi. And Semi finishes it off. What a long ball. Put it in front of him so he could run onto it. And he just curls it past the keeper. What a shot there by Semi. Our top goal scorer. Two goals today. Can he get a hat trick? Oh, Sigerson comes up there. 15 goals in the Championship League at the moment there for Semi. He has been on fire. He'd be up there with uh, some of the top ones. Britton comes up defensively there. Great work. Unfortunately, defensively. Sorry, attack. He let us down on that one. And Carter's been beat here. Nice long ball through here to Semi. Shut down the half time. Now I've changed the camera angle again here because I think we had broadcast as the camera angle that we were using. And unfortunately I did select the different one on the last one. So that's why the view was a little bit further back. But obviously if you guys enjoy it that way let me know. Um, but we will continue with this one here. A little bit closer to the action. But Delhi coming across here. Himes being up there defensively as well. Same with Pickering. Gets beat there. Delhi sliding across. 
and he puts enough pressure there. We're actually going to bring on Buckley now. I think 54 minutes in, we'll do a big bit of a swap here. We do currently have that two point lead. And it's given us, you know, it's good to have some depth there in that centre mid. And I think um, Buckley will be, you know, phenomenal for us coming off the bench. If not starting a couple of games as well. All down to Sigerson here. Unfortunately, couldn't get the ball through there. Oh, what a pass there. What a pass there by Sigerson and Asante. Against his former club, gets that goal. With that bullet pass there through from the winger. Look at this. Bang, straight past the defenders. Sets himself. Puts enough power on it to get past the keeper. Great goal. Team starting to click here at the back end of the season. As I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, we were talking about, I think we've got our front four cemented. I think with Delhi coming into the squad, we've got our middle four in the sense of Garrett. Oh, yes, with the save. Garrett, Buckley, Delhi, and Bakuna holding down that middle. And we're actually going to bring on Garrett here. And then ultimately, we just got to get our back line in order and also a keeper. As much as Pierre's has been good for us at times, I think he's also unfortunately let some goals in that shouldn't have shouldn't have got past, which resulted in um, some losses. Ball out here to Asante. He does have Semi with him. That was a terrible pass attempt. Hopefully that doesn't cost us here. It does. Oh, unfortunately, Asante trying to do a little too much there. And Carter, a three-on-one, didn't know who to cover. And the ball straight past the keeper. We've currently got that two-point lead at the moment, so we've got to just hold on to that. Just don't do anything silly. That'll be a penalty. All through to Semi. But we're going to quick play the ball here. Unfortunately, Dolan just couldn't hold on to it there. All through to Britain. Down to Garrett here. Again, the passing just not crisp. Chip over here to Sigerson. Carter sliding across, trying to cover two guys there. And it's been everywhere for us at the moment. Now Sigerson, a little breakdown. Again, defense cuts it off. Garrett sliding back. It looks to be a penalty here. Unfortunately, Sigerson got a foot in there. We're now in extra time. Love to keep the goal out here, but we can't. Unfortunate. Pierre's on the short side. Let's in another goal. Gets a hand to it, but uh, unfortunate. Know what was happening there? Bit of a weird little animation happening there, but we're going to go into full time here. Great match.
3-2 victory. We obviously took our foot off the gas in the second half and let in those two easy goals. We got a 40-60 split on possession and our man of the match, obviously, Semi, Sigerson, Asante and Haim also played well up the back. Now, one thing I do want to do is potentially give Leonard a bit of a top up on his contract. Uh, if we look at it, he's currently on 7,000 a week. Uh, and obviously, we've got 1.5 years on that one. So we will look to upgrade his contract here. Currently wants important, but try to keep him at rotation. Can't there. I'm going to sign him for another three years if we can. Don't want to release clause. If we take away that bonus. I'm happy with the, the top up. And we're all happy here. So we do give him a little bit extra on his contract, which hopefully makes him at least somewhat satisfied with um, the money he's making each, each week. Another big offer here for Dolan, but at the moment, he's been playing well for us, so we will reject this one from Ajax. Pierre's is another one that we will reject. And here we have it. One of our youth academies first out the door here. And we get 1.9 million, so not bad. Just wasn't a player that we saw any real potential to break into the starting lineup. So we wish him all the best in his career elsewhere. Now, why we get that 1.4 million, Rankin Costello is now had an offer here, which is 3.1 million, which is a very good offer. You know what? That'll be the least we take, but we'll go in there with trying to get five which would be phenomenal if we could do that. We might be able to pick up one of those defensive players that we were looking at early on. Our scouting reports have come through as well, which we will have a look at those after this match. Nelson uh, has also got a loan offer elsewhere, which we're going to just let happen. Would have been great to sign him from Arsenal, but just not in the scopes of our financial position. Now, we've got a big match here. We will be going with the second squad. Uh, that's going to be Pazlik on the wing with Sigerson. Buckley, Garrett are going to get their starting opportunity. Um, Walstead is going to get the starting position in the sticks, in the goals. Um, Sammy and Leonard up front. This is round four of the FA Cup. So each time we advance, it's a little bit extra money in the kitty. Really got a bit of an in inexperienced squad out here at the moment, trying to give some game time to keep morale up. Pazlik has been great since we picked him up from free agency. So we'll continue to do that, but that was a poor pass. But Buckley does recover. Oh, what a play there by Garrett. Buckley and Garrett, the combo in the middle. We talked about the depth in the last match. Him, Bakuna, Delhi. That four in the middle could really cement a partnership. And that's a nice pass there through. But first, the steal from Buckley. And Leonard gets another goal, fresh off a new contract. Finishes it in style. Sliding across here. Jarvis, nice defensive play. Squeezed it through there. On board to Leonard. Oh, what a play there by Leonard. Give him another contract. What a play by the kid. 
two defenders on him and he just gets it past the keeper in the end nice shot All through to Pazlik again here. We'll chip over the top. Unfortunately, just can't get in front of that one. Cut off by the defender. And Garrett sliding back here. Jarvis. Nice defensive play there by Jarvis. It's good to see the Youth Academy player playing well. We'll chip over the top here to Leonard. All in the middle here. Carter covering two guys. And Jarvis cuts it off. Nice play. Oh, Sigerson almost finishes off. A beautiful pass there by Semi. And he curls it just past the post. This combination of uh, Pazlik coming in as well has been really good. We obviously got Roberts who's asked for a transfer, so with that we've gone, you know what? You're not really in our future. We signed Pazlik to see how he went from free agency and he's actually been not too bad for us. Nice ball through to Semi. Oh, ball goes up here. Can we clear it back in the box? No, we can't. Buckley and Garrett in the middle there trying to slow it down, but we just can't. Potts is going to have to slide across here to help pick her in. He does. And it does well, but Buckley unfortunately loses it. Jarvis. Nice defensive pressure here by the young kid. He does well. Clears it out here and that should be half time. And it is. Great first half there. Some real good goal opportunities. But obviously Leonard. What a phenomenal match by him. Two goals very early on. And he's been involved in a lot of the attack. Trying to push up some defence there. Leonard does well. All through here to Semi. Little chip over the top. Oh. Semi potentially should have tried to take the shot. Maybe he was a little bit too overzealous with that uh, chip opportunity. Did think the keeper was going to come out there. He doesn't. And Carter with the header. Unfortunately, just by the post. Couldn't get it in there. Currently still got that 2-0 lead. Let's see if we can make it a third. Oh, Leonard almost comes up with the steal there. Ball through to Leonard here. Oh. Almost through. Oh, that would have been absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> would have jumped out of my seat if Leonard got that goal. That was all style trying to swoop in for that one. But let's defend here. Let's keep this clean sheet. That's the aim. Ball in the middle here. Carter's got to slide across. Pick her in. Nice defensive pressure, but falls over. Oh. Unfortunately, too many plays in front. Wallstead. 
Not looking good in between the posts. That potentially should have been a save there. Carter tries to clear it. And again, short side. Something about our keepers and letting in shots on the short side. Just don't know. Sigurdsson now with the ball. Bit of a dance. Probably tried to do a little bit too much. And the ball goes in the middle here. Buckley. Ball across here. Pickering trying to slide across. Turnbull now with the ball, but it's going to be a penalty. 78 minutes here. Oh. We've got to bring up Bakuni here. Some fresh legs. Buckley's had a great match. Clearance here. Semi with the ball. And unfortunately, loses it with strong defence. Oh, what a defensive push up there. Oh, Carter. Heart in the mouth type stuff at the moment. Clearance across here. Can he tap it on? Jarvis with the long ball down to Leonard here. Oh, defence gets in the way. Real opportunity there. Cuts it off. Pot sliding across here. And that's it. We get the win. And what do we got? 33-67 split on possession. A pass accuracy was up there at 88. Let it down. Man of the match, 9.8. Now, we're heading into the transfer window ending here at the moment. We looked at uh, resters, but Soros could be an option here. He's 70 overall. He's 4 million. And, you know, I think potentially we pick him up. As much as Pierre's, and that's been good for us. Jeez, they've let in some goals that shouldn't have been. And I think, you know what? We are unable to pick up uh, him when we tried to. We can't loan him. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can pick him up just before the end of the transfer window. Let's add a goalkeeper. Value 3. Let's see if we can squeeze him out at 2.8. Oof. They want Buckley. He's just not on my radar, unfortunately. Could give you Roberts. Is that a deal they want? No, they want four million here. Let's go three point nine, just over market value. And there we have it. He's got plenty of opportunities, still young, early twenties. And this could be the goalkeeper we want here. Let's see if we can sign him here if he wants to come to the club. Adam as important. He might want critical. No, nope, we're good there. Four years. Definitely lock in four years with him. Well, that's an absolute bargain on wages there. And we got him. Absolute steal, I reckon, there. 3.9 million, a 70 overall goalkeeper. Our new addition to the squad. Pierre's has been great for us at times, but I think, you know what? We've got to keep adding depth. And Wallstead, unfortunately, just was not what we wanted there in between the post in that FA Cup. 
He really had his one opportunity to shine there, and he just didn't do it. And there we have it. Our new goalkeeper. Looking good in red. And we get him in at 3.9 mil. Now, he was part of the world-class prospects as well. So this bit of a bargain here. They say we could, could have got him for cheaper. But I'm quite happy with that. That sign in there. Still leaves $3 million in the bank for the next transfer window. So two big signings in this episode. We obviously got Deli Alley. And then to wrap it all up, we obviously got the man in between the post, Soros, who's going to get his starting opportunity here. Now, Huntersfield in our first match of this series in the season uh, opener, they absolutely put on a show and we, um, we struggled. So let's see what we can do here. We've obviously developed some of our players a little bit more since that start of the season. Brought in some talent as well. As mentioned, it's a big match here. Last time we versed these guys, they put on a bit of a show. And uh, we um, didn't look favourable. That was a poor pass there by Semi. Let's see what we could do in this match. That was a beautiful steal. He does have Asante with him in the box. Oh... The volley, unfortunate, just couldn't keep his foot on it, and it curls past the box, past the post. That would have been a great goal if he could have uh, landed that one. Heim hits it through to Dolan here. Through to Pickering, nice ball through to Semi, but he gets trapped there, doesn't run onto it. It's all over the defence here. And unfortunately, it's going to be a penalty. Dolan here, coming across. Trying to support in the middle. Bakuna, nice defensive plays there to Britain. That's how you finish it off. A bit scrappy down that that right hand side. But once the ball came out there, Sigerson threw to Santi onto Semi. And he finishes it off. Can't stop that. The amount of, uh, not really assists because he's, obviously he doesn't pass the last ball, but Sigerson has been involved in a lot of nice ball movements down that right-hand side. And some that, obviously, stats don't give him, give him credit for. Bakunia, unfortunately, couldn't get that ball through there. Here we go, Sigerson with the ball now. Ball down to Britain here. An unfortunate cut off there by the defence, but a nice little ball movement. Ball's now going out wide here. Delhi sliding across, trying to give support. Britain kind of caught out off guard there. Through to Sigerson. Oh, the pass should have went to Asante there, but unfortunate. 
turned it back into Delhi. Nice play there by Sigerson. Finds Asati. You know, you got the big guy running through. Oh, Dolan capitalizing on a loose ball there. As I was mentioning, you got the big guy running through, you just get the ball to him, and he almost gets it past the keeper. But Dolan finishes it off. Nice play there. It's good to see when a winger comes up. Comes up and supports his striker. Ready for a ricochet. Now we've got the, the new keeper, Soros, in, the, in between the posts. We haven't seen a lot of him yet. Which is not a bad thing. <laughs> you don't want to see a lot of your keeper. Um, but so far, he's, um, he hasn't had much on him. But a nice save there by Samuel Soros. Gets it while was going wide. And that's his first save in the Blackburn Rovers jersey. All out here, Bakuna sliding up. Oh, he gets tripped up a bit there. I'm defensively. And this is not a good spot for a penalty. Carter's going to come back in the back line, support his goalkeeper. Oh, nice header there by Dolan. Oh, sorry, Carter. And Dolan's got the ball now. Unfortunately, the pass just didn't go through. A nice play there, support play there by Delhi. Again, the passing just not crisp there. We're really giving them an opportunity to get back in this. Oh, Carter gets beat. And brilliant, nice defensive play there. We've got to bring on Buckley to finish this match here. Clearance here. Sammy tries to push up. Green defensively getting in position. Nice play there by Dolan. Again, beautiful play there by the winger. One for the goal. Or well, for the ball. Oh, pick up the scraps there, Asante. What a save there by the keeper. Sammy sets it up. Tries to step around the keeper, shoots the shot, but he, he gets a hand to it. I give him credit to that one. Quick hands. And the ricochet goal once again. This is a lot better than what it was the first time we versed Huntersfield. Ball through to Asante. Long ball there, but unfortunately. Not to, to the striker there by Carter. Sigerson coming up. Defensively. Got Dolan in the middle as well. Everyone trying to help. Trying to keep this clean sheet. Be great for the keeper to get a clean sheet on his first match.
all here. Unfortunately, all tangled up. And that's going to be it. We get that 3-0 victory. We get another three points added to the tally. We've got a 33-67 split on possession. And Asante, our man of the match, with Semi a very close second. And there we have it. We're not going to advance here. We're going to leave it with 10 hours left to spare. Um, if you'd like to drop comments in the, the comment section, let me know what you think. Do we sign someone else? We currently got 2.7, so not a lot of money. Uh, but we obviously have scouted a couple of guys that we might be able to use a bit of a, a, a package deal for it. Alex Murphy's one. That could be that depth in the middle that we kind of talked about. He is a world-class prospect. Um, so that is a potential there um, that we could look at doing. Six foot two as well. Got uh, Merlin, we could potentially save the money up for him. Chavez. He's already gone off to his new club on loan, Nelson, so we will get rid of him. Santos, Hickory. Man, I would love to get him. Zazo. Now, that's one that we've been looking at, we've been talking about. That's one that we could potentially pick up. So let us know, do we go Zayze or do we go Murphy? The Irishman at 19, he's a big guy, six foot two. But Zayze is six foot three, so both very similar. He's 70 on defense, physical 60, 70 pace. And so Zayze is just that little bit better. But let me know in the comments below. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next episode.